Hey guys, this is Tim from RC Trailing Idaho, and I have another video on the Exceed RC Max Stone 10th scale. And we're going to be upgrading the shocks to these functioning piggyback systems. Um, it is from G Made, and these are the 103 millimeter shocks, um, a little bit shorter than the stock shocks. So I will go and just swap those out. Right now I tried out a different system. It's the G made uh, G transition shocks and it's got an internal spring system in there. Um, so I could do a droop setup and a sprung setup and uh, just wasn't the correct setup for this vehicle. Um, I got those shocks on my G made R1 and I love them. They're great. I've heard other people that dislike them but each their own. Uh, so. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take these shocks off, throw these piggyback shocks on, and um, go from there. Okay, I forgot to say, um, to take these shocks off, it's pretty simple. Um, just a couple screws. Screw here, and the screw and nut on the other side, and that's it. Do that on all four sides. Pretty simple. Come off pretty easy. All right, guys. Well, we are back, and I've got all the shocks mounted up. Um, they mounted up pretty easily, and no problems. Um, all I have to do is just go around, and adjust them after I run it, see how I like it. Um, got here on the inside. Try to get a closer look here. Not too bad. Uh, flip it around so you guys can see this side. Fits pretty nice. And I can't wait to see what they, how they perform out on the rocks. Um, I did notice a couple of things um, when I was working on this that the angles, I'm getting so much torque twist on this on this thing and that the angles of it of the links aren't correct and that's part of the reason and I need to go ahead and put a bent links bent upper links on the on the top of this and these outer links need to come in the inside somehow I know it's kinda hard to do with the, how the motor is sitting in there um, and so try to get it more triangulated a little bit have them come down a little bit towards the inside so that's probably why it's just every time even I just barely touch the throttle this thing just so <laughs> that's my impression of how it sounds <clears throat> excuse me but uh yeah I got a couple more things uh, I try to fit the old G made uh plate in there and that was just way too way too skinny uh, thin right here and uh, trying to figure out what else might fit not sure might have to fab something out but we'll see um, sorry if there wasn't any uh, like building like actual building of the shocks or anything or actual install it's all really really easy um, unfortunately everything on here is Phillips head um, so that's kind of a pain they're not not really too keen on that I'd rather have a hex or something but um all it was just these screws right here one two three three and four right here really easy hold the lock nut on the other side screw here pow comes right off so alright well thanks for watching um, on the shock upgrades of this Max Stone the Exceed RC Max Stone 10 scale and on RC Trailing Idaho uh, don't forget to subscribe hit the like button share the video if you like it if not give it a thumbs down let me know that hey this video isn't very neat so 
<laughs> Anyways, um, I am getting used to talking and doing some tutorials and how-tos. I mean, there's so many on the internet right now on YouTube that it's almost pointless to do them. But on the Exceed, there's, a, there's so many knockoff parts on these things that you can pretty much go buy an axial part, buy an HPI part or something that's close to it and make it fit. So just trial and error on these uh, Exceed RC and the uh, least ex and the more inexpensive uh, RCs. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching and I will catch you guys again later. Oh yeah, one quick thing on this. Um, if you guys have any tips um, on this thing, my, uh, let me know. Uh, I would like to, if you have any ideas or different ideas on how to get the torque twist out of this thing, or tips, tricks, um, whatever, go and leave it in the comments. Leave a link if you have a video on it. Um, let me know. I've been kind of searching for it. Um, help get rid of this torque twist problem on there. Different shocks, different shock setups. I got the... Uh, I had the stock shocks with uh, the 4x4 slash um, spring set up on it. So, anyways, just uh, leave a comment down below. Thanks again for watching, and stay tuned for more videos. I'll try to get some more tips and tricks ones out. So, thanks again.